Aika, it's your turn. Aika. Kevin, you claim to be this mastermind, so please tell me a big move that you made through your masterminding and your manipulation. Bro, I don't claim to be a mastermind. I made some mistakes in this game, but I never gave up. One of my biggest moves was making a fake final two with Dylan at the final five. I was by myself. I had to create situations that gave me good chances to win competitions. Dylan threw that final five veto because of my fake final two with him. That was a big manipulation move that I did. Okay. All right, Dimitri, it's your turn. Okay, Kevin, why should I give you a hundred grand when you started playing on day 48 and I started playing on day two? Going from the start, Dimitri, I had this, I laid under the radar the first half of the game. That was my strategy. Give me your vote because I got you out, dude. You were a beast and I took you out. Thanks, Kevin. Voting for the person who fought the hardest after Dimitri. <laughs> I must give credit where credit is due. Good game. Well, that does it. The vote is over. Thank you to the jury. Not only have you determined our winner tonight, but collectively you have just changed someone's life. Let's hear it again for the jury. Coming up, we'll find out who has won it all, and we'll take a look back at some of the biggest and most iconic moments of the year. Buckle up, our season finale is back right after this. Welcome back to the season finale of Big Brother Canada. Season five started like no other. Eight vets and eight newbies. The lines were immediately drawn, then they were erased and drawn again. From the very first night, it was a theme that played out over the course of the 70 days inside the house. Take a look. What? All the returnees walk in. The alien has arrived. This game is gonna be completely different and it is gonna start right now. Eight of us, there's enough of us to get us as far as we can. And a veteran needs one this season. Yeah. All the vets decide to be one big happy family and stick together. These newbies have no idea what it's like. Out of all the returnees, who are you most scared? Where do you start? We're just going to get picked off one by one. And if I win, I'm putting up two bets. This is going to be a bets game unless we do something really soon. Are we locking down the six with Dimitri? He will work with you, guy. I was the only newbie brought into an all-returning player alliance. It was so cool watching them on their seasons, and I wanted to be a part of it. A bunch of returnees, and I'm like, the newbie, I'm like, they picked me. If the eight returning players could actually stick together and work together, we would have dominated this game. We just couldn't do it, though. So manipulative. There was just too many divas. There were too many egos. This is why none of you won. Maybe the bats aren't really together. Dallas, you have been evicted. As soon as Dallas got the back door, the vet alliance was done. Cassandra, you have been evicted. I choose to evict Carrie. The vets were a hot mess. Too many people trying to be boss. You're such a liar and everyone believes you because you intimidate them into it. Yes, that's yeah. what I do. Netta, you have been evicted. Please get your things and say your goodbyes. 
vet after vet after vet was leaving this game. We are the three last vets. How embarrassing is that? And the new players couldn't be happier. I want all of the veterans out of this house. I don't like you. I want this to be a newbie's game. When the triple eviction rolled around and three new players were taken out in one sweep, I couldn't have been happier. Look at us, two newbies and two vets. Kevin, you're not my favorite person in the world, but you know, cheers to that. You truly are one of the best players ever. And for those reasons, I have to evict you, Ica. I'm a vet at the end of this game with two brand new players. The question right now is, will a vet win or will a new player win? newbies a little bit here what did the newbies bring to the table for season five what do you mean we brought the freshness we have fresh faces <laughs> yes. new faces we brought game we were lit we were lit the newbies were lit yes sure, give it up for the newbies. now bruno rep the vets here we saw you get decimated at one point yeah. what did you guys bring to the table you know what the vets bring i guess experience and knowledge uh gameplay big personalities but I do have to say, these new players that came in, Big Brother hit it out of the park. Great players. They deserve a lot of credit, man. They did such a good job. Such a good job. With that. Now I'm going to ask you, Cassandra. So we are right back where we started. There is a newbie and a vet on the block. Can you believe that? I cannot believe it. Um, who's going to take it home? I don't know. What do you think? Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I'm quite shocked. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. But because you were one of the early vets out. Um, and that was, oh, a, that I was, was a big shock I? to a yeah. lot of people. It was a shock to myself as well. But I mean, I love going home and being on the other side this year. Um, last season, you know, I've made it to jury and whatever. But it was so much fun to watch it from home and yeah, uh, screaming at my TV every week. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've got to ask uh, Karen. Okay, sitting beside that vet, is that something that you expected? You know what, I went into Backwards Week and nominated him at that time. I figured that he and Dimitri would definitely be at the end, for sure. Uh, well, I'm just going to say, I knew you guys did have a secret final, too. I knew it this uh, whole, whole time. Best uh, alliance not, ever. I beat it. Karen's a part of the fortress the whole time. <laughs> she didn't... All right, we've seen it tonight, and we've seen it all season long. The BB Can Odyssey was full of independent opinionated and very strong women. Yes, between big moves and blow-ups, our queens not only left their mark inside the house, they actually ruled this season. I got. Do you want to be a legend or do you want to be a, just a player? Bitch, I am a legend. <laughs> you'll hear people talk about that there was a queen in this house, but you'll never hear them say that there was a king because women ran this house. My knuckles will be bleeding before I get off. Karen winning the first HOH set the tone for this season. Karen is the first person in Big Brother Canada to send a guy home first. The rest of them are afraid to get blood on their hands. I'm going to get a bucket of blood and wear it as war paint. Oh, Boom. This is when you start fighting with the big dogs yeah. in the house. The women were fearless. You know what you do, Spit? I swear to God, if he puts us on that block, hell will break loose in this house. Sam, scared. Say, You're scared. Yeah. Your game cannot match up to mine. You keep it yeah. and you don't tell my yeah. Game on, bitches. We said what we wanted, we demanded what we wanted, and we got what we wanted. I feel you're scared that I'm like... I'm, oh, I'm never scared. William, give me your boat! <laughs> becoming a bigger and better player every day that she's in this house. It's time for me to put an end to that. You guys really are a piece. Her little power is going to wear off very, very soon. And when it wears off, I'm coming for that bitch. Women had massive opinions this year, and they weren't afraid to share them. You can have a different opinion from somebody else. It doesn't make them a bad person, so get over it. <sighs> I hate them all. There is a possibility to get out of being player. The women were beautiful and very smart, and that's a dangerous combo. I didn't even know I could be this sneaky and deceitful. Don't you put me under? I'm gonna go to you. They brought the strategy. Karen is such a strong competitor. 
I would love to talk to her, Gary. They wanted to play the game and they played it hard. She's made a final alliance with every member in this house. Like one thing's we hate me, okay? We hate each other. I love you. There's so many lies in this game. We're in Big Brother Canada. You came here for the steaming and the lying and the backstabbing. So if you don't want to play, okay, we'll send you home. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Trust me. I'm so proud to be on a season that represents strong women. Don't ever think that you want to give up or go home. Thanks, Cindy. At the end of the day, we loved and cared for each other, and we had each other's back. Thank you so much, Kim. I appreciate you so much. I love you, okay? I love you. It was so cool to play in this season with all these badass bitches. Okay, I'm going to come to you, Netta. In terms of women on the show, you guys really were the dream team. Not that you always work together, but what did women bring to the season? I think we just proved we're a boss at Big Brother. Like, we don't need men. We can rule this game, and we are very opinionated, and we're good at this game. <laughs> well, it's, it's been amazing to watch. Now, Dimitri, what was it like living with uh, eight very strong women, uh, one of them is beside you slightly terrifying <laughs> but always entertaining so it was, it was great tv it was a lot of fun to be in there with them you have a lot of patience huh a lot of patience I know. a lot of patience <laughs> you guys don't know oh uh, we do yeah we know okay now i'm gonna ask uh, you kevin um there is a very strong woman beside you who oh yeah I mean, there were expectations, but I mean, final two, this is crazy. What was it like uh, with Karen in the house? Uh, our relationship is kind of, it started off really bad, but the last three weeks have been amazing. I've really come to respect and like this lady. And what she did the first week, winning HOH, putting two strong guys on the block, it set the tone for the season. It, the season was lit because of Karen. I really do think that. Wow. All right. All right. And Karen, what's it like for you? I mean, you're sort of the mother hen in there. And to watch all these young women looking up to you and like, it's a lot of badassery uh, uh, that you got. <laughs> Thanks, Arissa. I just try to do what I can. Okay. Well, we've still got lots to get to, including finding out who will be the last house guest standing. Will it be Karen or Kevin? We'll also take a look at the true tea. Don't worry, I'll explain. The Big Brother Canada season five finale will continue right after this. minutes away from finding out if Karen or Kevin will be our season five champion. But tonight we're also looking back on what was another mind-blowing season. There were massive fights, snatched edges, and it seemed like no one could ever keep a secret. Yes, the house guests were spilling the beans all over the place, or as it was known on the Odyssey, the tea. Take a look. I promise you are going home. This season, the truth came out. Spill the tea. <laughs> Everybody was spilling tea and nobody was sick. We've been fake tea this whole time, Gary. Cassandra. Look at me. I will yeah. blow your mouth okay. and I will make you my number one target. Gary. You're not telling the truth right I am now. 100%. You are not telling the truth right now, Karen. Oh my God. I don't want to talk to you. Get away from me. Maybe you think that I'm your boy toy? No. You can never be my boy toy too, honey. I want you back. In the HOH room, what happened? You told me that you were going to evict Ica. And then what did you do? I went straight to her. You're not trustworthy, Dylan. You're just mad because you got called out. You can kiss this freaking ass. No one, and I mean no one, to keep a secret. You don't have the votes to stay. So I can't vote on the wrong side of the house. You have the vote to stay, then and I can't vote to keep you here. It's okay. I don't want you to. I'm going out. You guys told me that if you won power, you would put them up over me. There was an alliance of six people. Me, Aika, Dimitri, Cindy, Kevin, Bruno. This girl does not have anybody's backs in this game except for Dimitri. You were safe for like an hour. And this house got lit. 
The, the lies, the lies. You think you if can we take away your queen this week, I will take care of the king next week. So is our final two still on, Karen? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Over my dead body. I'm talking to Karen right now. Okay. Okay. All right. Turn around and have your hair fall out some more. No one's talking to you. I will. Don't worry. <laughs> One to you, because it's not my fault you're thin. Wow. Give me all ten, you two bitches. I don't care. Mm -hmm. As much as we blew up, at the end of it all, we still love each other. Well, if I didn't get anything from this experience, I'm really happy. I know. I met you. I know. Me too. I'm going to cry. Oh, what is it? It's from his kid. Oh! Did you let me hug her? Oh. That's what you call showing you. It's unreal. Oh, it's crazy. I hate it. You hate it. Oh! I want to die. They don't have to do it. Oh! I literally cannot picture myself being here without you. the most lit season ever. That was so dope. New faces, no faces to our family. And that's the true team. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love you it. Me. You tried me. Gary, I'm coming to you. Has there ever been a season with this much drama or delicious tea? Honestly, no one in that house could say they were thirsty because there was too much tea to sip. <laughs> Honestly, but um, I enjoyed every last drop. And that's the true tea. That it was is good. <laughs> right? Okay, now I'm going to come to you, Aika. Uh, how much did all that drama and, and the gossip or the hurt feelings, how much do you think that's going to affect the actual vote tonight? Um, you know what, I feel like we're all, we want a great winner. Yeah. We all played a great game, and I feel like I'm a logical player, and I want a great person to win, and I feel like we all do. I don't think we'll be bitter at all. Nice, nice. Yeah. I'm going to give a hand for that. Now, I'm going to ask you, Dallas, you provided a lot of the fire free jury. Yeah. Uh, outside of that, what was the most dramatic for you moment of the whole season? Oh, that double eviction, for Ooh. sure, for sure. You know, uh, at that point, I was really pulling for Dylan and Aika, and they made it on skate, so it was definitely, uh, and Netta, and poor Netta, uh, it was definitely an intense episode, and uh, it was definitely the most dramatic episode I've seen. He's still sure. in recovery. He's yeah. still in recovery, clearly. Yeah. Uh, Cindy, this is a question uh, for you. What was it like being in an alliance when everybody in it was spilling tea to, like, three, four, five other people at the same time. Uh, it was really hard. I really tried to be the peacemaker within the alliance. I really wanted it to work, but unfortunately, as you can all see, it didn't. Oh, God.